in my dream is that I need to do something about this biomarker concept I develop. Can I detect any stage or any sign of cancer in the blood. Imagine being able to detect breast cancer before mammograms or biopsies. Well, Brandon University's associate professor, Mashumi Majumdar, that's what she dreams to achieve, creating a simple blood test that would show the early presence of breast cancer. We, so st we started getting matched biopsy and blood from the same subject or participant. And they send all these samples to Brandon University and um, we started this biomarker project at BU. Majumder and her team published their paper on July 30th on biomarkers that can detect cancer in micromolecules. The goal is to find out how early breast cancer can be detected. Right now, mammograms are the gold standard and then a biopsy is taken. But in Canada, unless you show signs of cancer, mammograms are not conducted until you are 50 or older. Cancer is like disease like that if you detect early then yeah there are a chance to cure so that's our f goal to f detect early so blood test is very easy it can it, you can test any age if in case we are successful we are not there yet but our marker can detect cancer at a very early stage stage zero and one when tumor is really small and surgically can be removed and that patient survival with stage one tumor right now is actually over 98 percent. Majumdar is thrilled with the progress, funding and publication of the research so far. They are the only ones in Canada pursuing this avenue at the moment, but having both tissue and blood from the same specimen is vital to the next stages of research. My sample size is so small sometimes, but it's so diverse because it's from all over Canada, I got the samples. Um, yeah, I think to give or take, it, it is going to take three to four years from now. Even though we have the surgeon in the team, even though we have the grant on the way coming up, uh, but to make it like a trial trial, we need ethical approval. Uh, already BU is a part of that whole ethical process. Working in collaboration with Brandon University faculty and students, she says the advancement of this research would not have been possible without the support and collaboration of BU. In Winnipeg, Brianne Foley, City News.